you're actually doing well. You are motivated. You're working hard. You're going to the gym consistently every single day. You're actually doing really well. But then, one day, overnight, you wake up, and you wake up not great. Tired, lazy, all of that motivation that you had disappears as if it got up and left the door overnight. You're unmotivated, and every time you think about the good habits that you used to do, when you think about going to the gym again, you're too lazy and tired and you don't want to. You give in. We go through this cycle of motivation all the time, for long periods, where we feel great all the time, and then we'll go through a cycle where we don't feel good all the time. Here are the things that I did that helped me get out of the rut. Hey, so I've come to the conclusion, you know, I've been on this self-improvement journey for over two years now. I am very familiar with this cycle that we go through, spikes of motivation and then long periods of spikes of really unmotivated behavior. What I've come to realize something incredibly important is the fact that we don't get energy. We generate our own energy. Bearing this in mind, I'm going to reveal to you a couple things that I did that helped me get out of the rut. First things first, I'm not like a therapist. I'm not like I've got I've not got like a medical degree in all the science behind this. I'm just telling you the things that I did that helped me get out of the rut. Things that managed to help me. Whether you want to listen to this and whether this helps for you, that's down to you. So first things first, I want to introduce you to something known as the five second rule. The five second rule is basically where you count down from five to one, and then you go do whatever it is that you're doing. So for example, if you're in bed, you've woken up at eight, but you stayed in bed until like 11 p.m., you are cozy, you don't want to get out of bed. If I am having one of those moments, which does happen occasionally, I will go count down from five, the five second rule, five, four, three, two, one, get up. And I'll instantly get up. I'll just force myself to get up. The reason why I do this, this five second rule, is a lot of the time when we are unmotivated, we have no energy to do anything, we're lazy, we're tired, yet we want to become motivated. We want to do the good habits. Sometimes all we need is something to get the ball rolling. A way to do something now whilst we're unmotivated, and once we start doing things, the bowl starts rolling and we start getting into the flow of things again. That is why I do this, known as the five second rule, where you're able to do something whilst you're unmotivated. And this works with anything, whether it be brushing your teeth, getting in the shower, getting out of bed, going to the gym, it works for anything. A little tip, I never count up from one to five, I always count down from five to one. When you're counting down from five, it kind of feels like you have to finish that, otherwise like, it doesn't make sense. Although if I'm counting from one up to five, I can sometimes go, you know what, I'm gonna count up to 10. Like I can sort of increase it and then kind of neglect it. If I'm counting down from five, it feels weird to stop at three. So it just kind of forces me to actually get up. So it's a little tip for you. The next thing is make a seven day plan. When you make an actual plan, like, in the, over the next seven days, you are going to get out of this rut. It's a lot easier than just deciding that I'm going to become super motivated and do everything all at once right now. It's a lot less stressful, and it's also a lot more guaranteed to actually work. You've actually got a plan in place. And I want you to do something known as progressive overload. This is something that I did, and it's very similar to the process of lifting weights, where you're progressively loading more over time so you're not to burn out or get overtired. Now what this does, progressive overload, if you do the same thing with being consistent, doing the good habits, aiming to make a small gradual amount of progress every single day over these next seven days, it basically prevents the cycle. The reason you go through these big cycles of huge motivation spikes to really unenergetic, unmotivated moments. The reason you go through these cycles is because you'll basically do a bunch of stuff when you're motivated and then you'll burn out and you'll get tired and then you'll get to these unmotivated cycles. 
which also lasts for long periods of time. If you're progressively overloading, so you're not doing too much, but you're always consistently doing a slight bit better, you're preventing the cycle. You're not overloading yourself to the point where you need to have a reset. So over the next seven days, I want you to make a plan to get out of the rut, to make progressive overload every single day, just to get a gradual bit better every single day. So the first day you wake up, you're still in bed for a couple hours, it's kind of getting to midday, you're a bit lazy, and then you do the five second rule. Something to get the ball rolling now. Five, four, three, two, one, get out of bed, done. That starts to get the ball rolling. Okay, go brush my teeth. Okay, go get changed, put on some nice clothes, go get into a shower. You know what? I've had a good productive morning now. Let's try go for a little jog. And then tomorrow, same thing. Try and get up a little bit earlier, and we'll go to the gym this time for about 30 minutes. You know, the day after, we'll go to the gym for a bit longer. The day after, we'll go have a long run outside, and then we'll read a book somewhere in nature. For the next seven days, for your plan, all I want you to do is to just try and get a gradual bit better, using this five second rule to get the ball rolling and do something when you're unmotivated. And before you know it, within the next seven days, you will feel like you have woken up a new being, as if you've managed to recover and reset the cycle sooner than it should. You've gone through long periods of motivation and you do loads of stuff and then you go, you know, you wake up and you feel unmotivated and you're going through the unmotivated, unenergetic cycle now. Make a plan for the next seven days, do what I've told you, because what it did for me is it basically, in those seven days, I managed to reset the cycle back to a motivation spike. And then just aim to do a little bit better every single day. Progressive overload. Don't overload yourself because then the cycle will reset. Hopefully this helped you out. And you don't have to take my advice. I'm just telling you the things that I did that helped me when I was going through the same thing you're going through right now. Whether you want to take it, that's up to you. But I'm telling you that the things that I've said have 100% helped me. And if this has helped you, I would be really appreciative if you clicked on the video in the corner here. Because this video could help you as well. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and don't give up. <laughs> Alright, come here, sunbroom kiss. Mwah.